Hey buddy, did you hear the news? It's BU's Reviews. Ooh. What's up guys, it's me, Lamont, BUFPV, Bastard United, all those different things you may call this channel that you've landed on. Today, we're going to review the Foxier Toothless 2 Nano. It is a 1200 TV line full weather cam. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, this is the starlight version, uh, which means you should be able to fly it at night. Um, I, you know, I, I usually think that, I usually think, I, I think that my, the last starlight cam I've used was the Run Cam Owl. That was a long, long time ago. Um, and I did not like it, but this one's got way more TV lines and it'll fit in my micros. And I don't usually fly my micros at night because I just don't, I just aren't capable of flying at night. It looks terrible. So let me give you a shot of what the actual camera looks like. There. And that way it'll stick. So there it is. Butterfingers. There's the camera in all its glory. I don't know if you can see the connectors on there. But there are your wire connectors. Um, most likely you're gonna have to clip those to uh, mount them, but they look, looks good. It's a good looking camera. I like the color, I like the shape. There's the lip, there it is without the lens cap. That's it next to the Runcam Nano 2, if you guys have one of those. Uh, the lens on the Nano 2 is a bit bigger. Uh, it's like a micro uh, or a mini lens. This is with a micro lens. Um, I'm not sure what the sensors are on these. Pretty gosh darn big. Look at that. It takes up the whole inside of the camera. That's pretty impressive. So I expect good things out of this camera. That sensor is humongous. So no letdowns there. For video's sake, here is the specs in the back of the package. So there are the text and the specs and all that kind of good stuff, all the stuff I'm gonna go over before I actually fly it. Um, I am putting this on my toothpick, my toothpick build, my BQE pickpocket. If you guys have not heard, BQE has come out with a, pick, a uh, toothpick build, a toothpick frame. It's called a pickpocket, it is dope. You should go get one. Um, yeah, so that's it guys. It looks, from the specs, it looks like a pretty good camera. The 1200 TV lines on that freaking massive sensor, it's pretty impressive. So uh, it does four by three and 16.9. Um, the sensor, I can't tell if it's a four by three or 16.9 sensor, I don't know. It takes up so much of the inside of the case, you can't really tell. Um, maybe I'll take a look at that and I'll put that right here if it is or not. Um, I will be recording my DVR on the Impulse RC Power play that little white thing because it just makes better video than your goggles my hdo2s so let's go ahead and hop over to that tran that's it in there i've already talked about the specs and the text and all that kind of good stuff let's see how it performs in daylight it's very bright out right now um i have high hopes for this it's, it's it looked pretty good sitting in my house so let's see what it looks like in broad daylight there we go all right, so far, so good. There's Corey. My rates are not all that good. Looks pretty good so far. Our rates suck, but other than that, I'm on race band eight, by the way. This is probably dumb, but let's go inside this building real quick. It's got a pretty good dynamic range. Because I was just looking into this spot and it looked like very dark in there. These rates are absolutely terrible. The wind's taking her a little bit.
All right, so this looks pretty good. It's a very nice camera. Um, I can't tell if there's much lag. It's pretty windy at the spot, so getting blown around a little bit, but it's pretty good. I like it. I mean, it's comparable to uh, what I fly, the uh, the Eagle Micro. Um, what I might want to try is uh, a different camera settings. I think I'm flying 4.3 wide right now. And in my goggles, I'm using 16.9. All right, so that was pretty impressive. I like it. it looks really good. Um, I didn't feel any like any latency for because what I what I initially thought was 1200 was it 1200 TV lines, more data, more latency, but I didn't really feel it. And plus, on micros, it's kind of a I don't know. In my opinion, micros are kind of sloppy anyways, so it wasn't like I'd be able to feel too much in it in, anyway. So there's that. That's the daytime. Let's go to the nighttime and see what that looks like. All right, so I filmed this in a way when I when I went out to shoot it, it didn't really make sense. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna compare the the Runcam Micro Eagle to the Foxier Toothless 2 Starlight Micro Cam. Now, to me, that is the probably the 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 camera I would be replacing right i might because they don't make the eagle anymore and the eagle really run, flash really good at night this is a cmos camera i got a big sensor so let's see how that goes okay so on the right is the toothless and on the left is the run cam if you notice in the toothless the one on the right the colors are much more saturated um some might say a little oversaturated, but I thought it looked pretty good. It looked it looked really good compared to the Micro Eagle on the left, which is it's got some good color, but in the distance you don't get to see much. In the in the toothless on the right, like you could see the clouds, everything is super clear. Um, the Runcam Eagle it, it felt like it was a little more crisp, but it was definitely not like it was harder to see the the division between things as you were flying through them. As opposed to the toothless, where everything is quite clear, the colors are bright, it goes black and white for a second there, but that can be stopped by just locking the camera in color. Um, I think I'm flying 4.3 wide is one of the settings. Um, I didn't notice too much, uh, what's that called, fisheye in there. Um, it, there it's definitely more than the eagle, but it you don't notice it too much. I didn't notice it too much. Um, but it, it definitely handles the dark areas a lot better than the Eagle does. Um, and you know, once I run out of Eagles, I'm probably gonna use this, the Toothless V2. The only, the only issue I have with the Toothless V2 is that the lens itself is not that great quality. It's, it's a teeny tiny lens on that gigantic sensor. And if you see in the video, you, it has uh, a lens flare, it has lens flare, which is not super distracting. I just noticed it. I mean, I wouldn't get in the way of my flying at all. I didn't harm any of my flying like right there big lens flare uh and yeah that's the only downside to the toothless v2 is the uh the, the actual glass is not all that great um but it was it was a pleasure to fly and i would definitely use it on all of my five of squads um maybe they'll make a better lens but it's definitely usable the way it is um the lens flare is it's definitely present uh, but I thought the colors looked good, and the fact that you could see the sky at all, because in the in the in the Runcam Micro Eagle, you could see it at points. But you know, so that's that. That's that. Those are my thoughts on the camera. I would definitely recommend it if you're looking for a micro camera for your um, for your tiny whoop style stuff and all your micros and minis and all that stuff like like four inches and below. It's a great camera. I would even fly it on my five inches, which is what I might end up doing. Um, let me turn the sound on that off. 
So that's it, guys. Um, I hope you liked the review. If you like this, you know, like, comment, subscribe. <coughs> oh, God, it's so pollen outside today, guys. I'm having a hard time. Um, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. If you like this review and want me to do more reviews, some comments in the, in the comment section down there will help me do that. And uh, I hope you guys are having a safe COVID-19 experience. I mean, mine's been pretty good so far. I haven't gotten sick or anything like that. And yeah, that's it. The Fox here, Toothless V2, Starlight. It's good. If you fly night like I do, it's pretty much the only thing you're gonna be able to put on your friggin' micros and fly at night. But yeah, that's it. Deuces. Thanks for watching. Hey buddy, did you hear the news? It's BU's reviews. All right, so this is like the part of the review for the Foxier Toothless Starlight camera. You guys can see that there. That's it in there. I've already talked about the specs and the text and all that kind of good stuff. Let's see how it performs in daylight. It's very bright out right now. Um, I have high hopes for this. It's, it's, it looked pretty good sitting in my house. So let's see what it looks like in broad daylight. I'll give you guys a little bit of stick stick cam. Look at that. There's the bot grinder. What's up, teammate? What up, teammate? So uh, we're gonna do this thing. Have you flown the pickpocket yet? Nah. I'm Maybe too stupid we'll... to build one, so I decided to gravy. All right. So I think I'm gonna, we're gonna give bot his first rip on the tooth. The, what is it called? Pickpocket. All right, I'm gonna get ready, and then we're gonna switch over to some stick cam and be talking about flying and experiences and stuff.